the iPod Touch, fourth generation. Hello, Multi Money Center Center here, and I'm here for a special type of unboxing. Um, I just came back from the Apple Store, and I just bought this iPod Touch, fourth gen. Um, uh, actually, I bought it a couple days ago, like on Saturday, and um, I want to wait until I can charge my own camera here. So, I got the 8 gigabyte version um, here, and I've already taken the liberty of pulling these furiously tight tabs off, and so we can just lift it up, and here it is. Um, let me move on the way of the light so you can see it clear. Um, so, here it is, as you can see, very thin, very thin, very thin. This actually is my first iPod Touch, as well as my first, um, iOS device, period. Um, so, yeah, um. Excuse me. Um, I got, I got why this box for a second? Okay, so this is the iPod Touch. Let me move this to the side for a second. Now, in a second, we'll be looking at the actual iPod Touch that's in the box. So, in the box, you have your standard Apple headphones. They're crap, but they look good. Um, over here, it says, designed by Apple in California, you know, um, and then you have your important product information guide right here for the iPod Touch, and right here, you have your fingertips, just a little bit of information about the device. We'll go over that later. Um, the last thing that's in the box is the two Apple stickers, and I actually have this over here, the Apple 30-pin USB connectors. I took that out earlier. Um, so, that is what's in the box now. Let's get over over to the device itself. Now, this year, Apple doesn't have the same type of pull back and pop open design for their iPod touches or iPods in general. Um, this year, they have sort of a unique tab design. So, what you want to do is you want to pull this tab right here and then all of the rest of them lift open like so and then just pull it pull the tabs through and lift and then you have your iPod and wow this thing is thin. I mean, thin. I've never actually held an iPod Touch before, but this is even thinner than the third gen, and I, I just can't believe it. I mean, this thing is, it's a sliver. This, this can't be it. This has to be like a display or something. I, okay, anyway, you wanna pull this piece right here and just roll all my are you serious? is this really the screen? look at the darkness it's like one big slap it's like a slap seriously it's like a slap alright 
like I said, I've already take, um, opened this up at the Apple Store, so every, everything's already kind of together. So I've got a couple of apps on here. So if you can see here, this retina display, I don't think it'll show on the camera, but this retina display is just gorgeous. Um, let's look at the camera app. So this is the back camera. Look at the front camera. That's me. Videotaping. Um Yeah, that's the camera app. Um some photos I've already taken. Yep. Just, you know, some test photos. Um, some iBooks. Hmm. Looks really good. I mean, the pages just, do they just pop? You know, they just pop. The home, the home button feels really good. Also, let's go to iGun Pro to show you some accelerometer stuff. Just collect this. What color? Original. Um, let me turn it. So, there's some of that. Um, let's look at some accelerometer stuff. Well, let's look at this air horn app. And just shake it. Um, that's that. I have the IMT pain app here. Taking good use of the microphone, which is right next to the camera here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little dot there. Um, they did keep the metal backing. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know. Um, hit record. So. So now it's recording me talking to you like this. So right now this has been a video about the iPod stuff. But right now this video is about me recording on the iPod stuff fourth generation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So. You can go to save this. And this is sort of like a mini review. I've used this for about 25 minutes right now. So now it's recording me talking to you like this. So right now this has been a video about the iPod that showing the speaker. Oh, let me show you mop. Uh oh, wow, that was a close call. Let me show you some multitasking. Um, same thing like on the iPhone 4. Same thing like it will be on the iPad in November. Um, so what you can do is save some battery life. If you press and hold on an app, you can open up to kill the app. Just the little minus sign. So if you click on that, it'll close the app. You have to click it in the right spot, but it will close it. And then you optimize the speed. And let me just show you that 
that this is not even on the full brightness. Let me bring it up. Um, this look how far down this is, and you can see this just so clearly. And let me bring it up. This the screen is is very bright. I mean, is bright. I mean, look at that. I mean, like seriously. It's bright. It's really bright. Um, and you can really, I mean, you you guys can't see it, but if you go to the Apple Store and you put it all the way on full brightness, you can seriously see this Retina display kick in. I mean, it is just so bright. Um, so let me bring that back down to a reasonable. Um, brightness um so yeah um i will be showing i don't want to make this video too long but i will be having i'll have some new videos of, uh, on this device later Mata money 777 um logging out see ya